Backup and Restore TidyB Clusters. In this demonstration, I will set up an automatic backup. I will also run a manual or ad hoc backup. I will then use the manual or ad hoc backup to demonstrate how to restore a TidyB cluster. Sign in to TidyB Cloud. From the Active Cluster screen, click the cluster you want to back up. Click the Backup tab to see the backup options. Select Auto Settings to create an automatic backup. In the Auto Settings configuration screen, notice Backup Cycle defaults to Every Day. Backup Time allows you to select a time based on your time zone and it will be shown below the drop-down. Limit Backup Files allows you to select the number of backup files created. Backup Mode defaults to Full. There are storage charges associated with TidyB Cloud backups. The amount is based on average monthly usage. And for more information, please see the documentation on backup storage costs. Click Confirm to accept the next backup start date and time. The automatic backup retention time defaults to limit backup number multiplied by one day. To create a manual or ad hoc backup, click Manual on the backup screen. In the Manual Configuration window, provide a name for the backup. Start Now shows the current time and date based on your local time zone settings. Click Confirm to start the backup immediately. On the backup screen, an entry for the manual backup will display with pending status, then running status when it starts. When the backup completes, the status will change to success. To restore TidyB cluster data from a backup to a new cluster, click the Restore button next to an available backup. In the Restore window, type a name and password for the restored cluster. The cluster settings will reflect the settings of the cluster backed up earlier. There is also a cost associated shown in the billing calculation. Click Confirm to start the restore process. There are four steps in the cluster restoration process. Initializing network infrastructure, provisioning nodes, setting up TidyB cluster, recovery TidyB cluster, and the status will change from creating to normal in approximately 5 to 15 minutes. When complete, there will be a new cluster created from the backup of cluster 1. Another way to restore a cluster is to use the recycle bin. The recycle bin is used to store data from deleted clusters with backups. The data or backup files will be retained for a duration based on your data plan. To avoid loss, restore to a new cluster before the data plan expires. Note that if the cluster has no backup, a deleted cluster will not appear in the recycle bin. Click Recycle Bin to see if there are any backups available to restore Cluster 2, for example. Manual backups will be retained until your account is closed or deleted. Automatic backups will be retained for seven days after cluster's deletion. In order to retain the data, restore or make a copy of the backup file. Under Action, click Backups. Click the Restore button next to Cluster 2 BKUP to restore that cluster. Provide a name for this cluster and a password. Click Confirm to start the restore. The restore process will initialize the infrastructure, process the nodes, set up the TidyB cluster, and recover the TidyB cluster. The process will take approximately 5 to 15 minutes. The status will change from creating to normal when the process is complete. This completes the demonstration on how to backup and restore a TidyB cluster.